Okay, uh, here are my pickups for today, and believe it or not, this measly little pile uh, of doesn't really look like much and almost nothing. I spent like $165, or $164 actually, on everything you see here before you, and I'll just get right into it. Um, this right here is, uh, I bought these two perfumes together at a sale. Um, this is an Estee Lauder, and it's some kind of like, uh, it's a decent size, 1.75 fluid ounces, uh, private collection, pure fragrance spray. Not familiar with it. Um, but I think Estee Lauder is usually a good name. I usually do okay with Estee Lauder. So um, I imagine it's, I'm hoping it's worth at least 20 bucks for the bottle. Uh, we shall see. All right. Um, then I got this. This is Dolce & Gabbana, the one. Um, I paid 10 for this. And the funny thing is this bottle is heavy. So this has to be worth probably about like 30 bucks at least for me to maybe make maybe 8 or $10 on it. Um, it's 2.5 fluid ounces. It's maybe maybe half full. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a good buy. Maybe it wasn't. Don't know for sure. Let me get into the jewelry. This I spent the bulk. Of, oh, I spent 13 on three and 10 on those. So this I probably won't make much on. Um, this I could make more on. Um, the bulk of the money I spent today was on these items here. Uh, and to be honest, I don't really know what I spent on some of it. Uh, this I'll start with this. This is like Native American beadwork. It's a nice one. It's on leather. Has age, you know. This could, these might have increased. These are all tiny glass beads. I used to get them from Czechoslovakia. Um, this might have increased in value. People might be collecting this stuff more. I used to see it all over the place. Now I don't see it hardly anymore. And generally, you see them on plastic backs. Um, the leather is better, but again, I don't know if it has much value. I, I've got to check it out online. Um, this was interesting. This is a necklace, and it's all like uh, birds. And I imagine it's Mexican because it's on terracotta pottery, but it could be anything. Could be anybody. I mean, they're not the only ones that do terracotta work. But it was kind of interesting. See, it's actually little. Did I say birds? I meant fish. That's like all little fish. Kind of cool. Um, again, I don't remember what we paid for that. I didn't really actually buy that. I think we paid like five for this. And this is just a nice pin um, with a nice little uh, carved. I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. But the, all the stones seem to be set. Or like uh, these beads might be faceted for five bucks. Um, not not sign anything like that. Probably ten, I guess. At it. Um, this is like mother pearl. No, I'm sorry. This is abalone, and it's set in sterling. We only paid two bucks for this, so uh, if at least get ten, fifteen. That should be an easy sale. It's a beautiful little bracelet. I think these are sterling. These are kind of nice, um, and they are tax go. I'll see if I can figure out who the designer is. Um, I think we paid eight dollars for these. They're either going to go online, you know. I got to check the initials. Right now, it looks like uh, P something Z, whatever. I'll figure it out. Um, and odds are they're not that special. They're not that pretty. They probably won't go online. I'll try and sell them at the flea market for twelve to fifteen. I think we paid eight for them. Um, these we bought with something else. And uh, again, I, maybe she paid five or something for them. These are old, and I think she bought them hoping they were gold, but they got some weird mark on them, and so they're not really gold. Um, possibly they're sterling. Don't even know if they're that. So that's probably a really tough sell. Um, probably the most, the nicest and most valuable items I got today are like these. Um, these are two Taxco bracelets. This one has a nice modernist design. And um, you can see 60 and 60, and the, they were willing to take 100 for the two, so 50 a piece. Right, let, me, let me do this quick. This, we actually paid 18 for this, and there's nothing special about this. Um, in general, for resale, we, it would be like we overpaid, but um, they're, they're not for resale. Um, they're for a gift, and if I had to buy something like this as a gift, it would probably be like 30 to $40. So, All right, back to the tax code. Okay, this one is simply uh, hallmarked tax go. Sterling 925. I don't know if you can read it, but it's it's clearly Hallmark right there. Kind of got a modernist design. I paid 50. Um, I probably can't sell this anywhere but online. I mean, if I take it to the flea market, they'll want to give me 30 to 50. And uh, if I throw these things on a scale, there's probably about 60 dollars in scrap there. So I only paid 40 dollars over scrap, um, which is fine. You know, it's like that's not too much. But um, I have a hard time selling stuff like this, even though it's like beautiful and really nicely done. Um, if I take it to a flea market without doing any research on it, and uh, based on the price that I pay, I wouldn't take less than a hundred a piece on uh, either of these. Um, but in most cases, they're not going to give me that. So it's like uh, I will try though. I'll give it one round. If it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell. I'll just take a few pictures of it. This is kind of cool. Uh, let me see that. Uh, can you see that? 
I'm asking nobody. Um, that's a face. And um, the eyes, see the nose? Can you tell? And the eyes are two pieces of um, uh, tiger's eye. Okay. A tiger's eye are the eyes. Uh, and this has kind of got a locking. Well, she really locked it up. Okay, hold on. The way it opens is it's got this, but it also it's hinged on each side. So it's not hinged in the middle or anything like that. And I can't just simply open it now with one hand, so you're not going to get to see that. But see the hinge there? And there's a hinge there. It has weight. And both of these are around one and a half ounces a piece. That's why I, I said, not even really knowing what silver's worth right now, I just, I'm ballparking at like $20 an ounce. Anyway, this one has more hallmarks inside, kind of like the hallmarks that were in the cufflinks. Um, uh, again, I don't know if you can see with this camera, but there's a bell with the three, and this has initials. I want to see. It looks like CCC, and uh, of course, tax go. Um, some other words. So I will look this up. Um, it, out of the two, odds are this one would have more value because I can attribute it to an artist, right? And uh, and if I can uh, figure out who the artist is and how desirable it is, you know, they could be like really decent value. Um, but again, if I put these online, they're going to be in the probably the $150 range to $250, uh, depending on what stuff like this sells for and, and having to, to have, have reasonable prices compared to everybody else. But anyway, that's uh, what I got today. Um, all my finds. Hopefully tomorrow will be better, and I'll get some stuff, which is, I'm actually, I'm looking for stuff for the flea markets. This stuff is uh, not easy to sell at the flea markets, so maybe tomorrow will be better. I don't know. Saturday.